Hi everyone, it's Ben here. So today I am bringing you guys this video because I just want to put out my own personal opinion on the whole thing with Call of Duty World War 2. Yes, the game is great and people love it, but there are a lot of people out there that have got like mixed opinion about the game or people out there that just do not like the game for whatever reason I, and I think personally that the hate people are having around this game at the moment is coming from the previous Call of Duty which was Infinite Warfare because you know for some reason most people hated the game and uh, the people that still hate Call of Duty now personally I think they are just carrying over the hate they got for Infinite Warfare to World War 2 which you know obviously is quite stupid if you don't like the game Call of Duty, you don't like Call of Duty. It's just as simple as that. Uh, like obviously, like Call of Duty, you have tried to redeem their name by going to the old style of play, which is boot on the ground, and they've gone to the original style of you know gameplay, the original core gameplay that we all use. So, like when I got into Call of Duty, was just around the first few Call of Duties from PlayStation 2, but since they've progressed, people. I've kind of obviously hated the new ideas they've got to Call of Duty and this just sucks a lot because obviously people have hated the games they've you know made for example Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Ghost was one of the Call of Duty that got a lot of criticism criticism can't get my words out right <laughs> mainly because I think the game kind of was overhyped and they just did not deliver as much hype as you know we got during the pre-release of the game which sucked, you know? But anyways, I am uh, kind of just talking away from what is, uh, this video is all about. We're just pretty much talking about Call of Duty World War 2. Pretty much just giving you, you know, views from both angles to make, you know, pick a decision if you want to purchase the game or not. So that is what this video is all about. If you love Call of Duty from, you know, the old Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, you know, Call of Duty 1, you know, Call of Duty World at War, especially Call of Duty World at War, you will enjoy Call of Duty World War 2. That is something that, you know, people should know. Call of Duty World War 2 is like the game style and the whole idea about the game is to bring it to its old route, which I personally I think they hit the nail in the head and they've done a very good job at that. Um, but the game does feel very different from the old Call of Duty that you're probably used to. You know, the Call of Duty that I've just previously mentioned. That is, if you did not like those old Call of Duty or you did not like any old Call of Duty and you, you think, you know, this new Call of Duty is going to, you know, draw you or make you like Call of Duty, it probably is, but I'm just saying it's the Call of Duty. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like Battlefield, for example. The style of play is still pretty much the way Call of Duty has been produced for the past years and you're just not going to get anything, you know, different because that is what Call of Duty is like. I, I've seen a video of people on about bush about Call of Duty like, you know, realistic physics and all that bull crap like you know bullet drops when you fire a weapon which is pretty ridiculous because if you know anything about Call of Duty is that the map size except for Call of Duty Ghost which just try to you know do something that Call of Duty isn't the map size are mostly you know medium to close range they are very small maps you know what I'm talking about so you know in those kind of circumstances, in reality, you will not experience any bullet drops or stuff like that in such a close range combat maps, which people are just, you know, bringing out all sorts of bull crap like that, like, you know, on real physics and all those bull I mean, if you don't like Call of Duty, you don't like Call of Duty, period. It's just how it is, guys. It, there's just no other way to put it, guys. There's just no other way. People are just hating on the game for, you know, reasons that just do not make sense. Personally, that's what I think. You know, you can, you know, bring up arguments about this game and hate on the game all you want, but your opinions are pretty much going to be invalid because I personally think they've tackled all the problems or all the issues people have pointed out from the past Call of Duty and they've used that to make this Call of Duty that everyone would love and appreciate. If you're still hating the game, I think you just got a personal grudge for whatever reason. So, with that being said guys, I am going to move over to the things people hate about this game. Which for example is the hit detection. Yeah, we know that Call of Duty connection is always never going to be the best. Call of Duty's dedicated servers are just never going to beat, uh, you know, Battlefield. That, that's, that's, that's a fact, right? 
that is a clear fact that we've all obviously accepted but I, I think they need to be on top of their dedicated server and improve on their dedicated servers because it's just it's not the best it's good enough for uh, a Call of Duty game but but it's still not the best I do get a lot of situations with heat detection for example heat detection or Call of Duty World War 2 especially the beta had a lot of problems with that and I think it's because I was always getting you know match with people from other countries that people that are not you know at all close to my vicinity which just made you know playing the game just kind of difficult sometimes you know you get situations where you're meant to get kills and you just get annihilated from nowhere you know you you, you shoot a person first you clearly you think oh yeah you got this full but then they end up just turning on you and just shooting you to your face it's pretty stupid i hope they've done something to solve that they haven't then i don't just don't know what to say guys i just don't know another thing about Call of Duty world war 2 that they need to you know improve on is the matchmaking guys so the matchmaking during the beta was atrocious if you watch my very first you know gameplay on Call of Duty as i put out on this channel you know from the beta the matchmaking was just like atrocious man like there was just no one being you know put into existing lobbies the matchmaking was just not good enough most of the times i am in the lobby where everyone just leaves and the server does not you know get more people to fill up the space left off by people that left the game which just sucked like they could do something about that and i hope they have done that for the full release of the game because during the beta i had Issues where I just got into lobbies where there were just not enough players. You just the game was just not enjoyable like that. Where there are not enough players. So another thing I would like to put out there is about the weapon class, which is pretty much comparing assault rifles to SMGs. Obviously, assault rifles are never the same as SMGs. SMGs are close range, mostly full auto, you know, uh, machine guns. Where assault rifles, on the other hand, are long range. You know rifles which you know you cannot you know compare both they're completely two different things but the smgs on world war ii are too op that is my very opinion take the uh waffle for example that weapon is just a monster like most of the times i just cannot contest any player using the waffle even if they are they are atrocious at the game they will melt you before you even react you you'll be dropped it's just nothing you can do about it which sucks so bad like that is something they need to improve on like nerfing the smgs on world war 2 they need to do like the smgs that i feel that is very very balanced is the grease gun the grease gun is the most balanced smg in this game the other smgs are just op they just straight up op and people that use the SMGs in the game always get the upper hand in gunfights, which just sucks. Another thing I want to talk about is the incendiary round for shotgun. I know they've nerfed it, but oh my god, that thing is annoying. I have not played using any shotguns during the beta, but oh my god, these incendiary rounds are stupid. They are just stupidly annoying, guys. Especially when the beta first came out. The incendiary rounds were just ridiculous ridiculous like you get shot with these things and you think you've escaped the shooter but you just end up dying a few steps from your escape point which sucks guys i i think they need to improve on that they need to nerf the incendiary rounds for shotguns they need to make the incendiary rounds exactly the same damage level as the actual you know shotgun shells themselves so those are pretty much everything that i personally had problems with during the Call of Duty World War 2 beta. The game is not a bad game at all if you love Call of Duty. This game you're gonna love, but if you're a Battlefield player, you, you, you're most likely not gonna enjoy this game. It's just how it is, guys. It's just how it is. Like, people out there, there are people out there that are on about, you know, Call of Duty copying, you know, Battlefield for whatever reason. Like, I mean, Call of Duty started this whole fucking first person shooter which we all love somehow but people are actually out there that go on about quality copying battlefield because you know ea released battlefield one first and people just think you know i mean they've been researching this game for years since either we were freaking enough probably since advanced warfare they've been researching to make this game this boot on the ground game 
I, I don't know how long they'll be researching this game, but it's been years before you know the release of EA's Battlefield One. Like you can't not compare the quality of Call of Duty World War Two to Battlefield One. It's it's not the same thing, guys. If you're there just thinking, man, you know they've copied Battlefield One. This this is absolute bullshit. I'm not gonna buy the game. Then please don't buy the game. Just just stick to what you know. But it is nothing like Battlefield One. Absolutely nothing like Battlefield One. If you love Call of Duty. Uh, from the previous, the old Call of Duty's, you are going to love World War II. It's just how it is, guys. So with that being said, I am going to end the video here. And if you have any questions, let me know. And if you have any other issues or things that are good about Call of Duty World War II, type it down in the comment section. And also, Call of Duty World War II full release is tomorrow, and I am going to be bringing you guys campaign gameplays and multiplayer gameplays. So stay tuned for that, guys. With that being said. I will see you guys in the next one.